and welcome back to the channel. On this video, we're going to do a review of a product that was sent to me by Savior Heat, and that's this pair of gloves right here. And so we're going to do an unboxing first and show you what's in the package. So here we have the box once again, and now we're going to open up and see what's inside the box. So let's First of all, here's the left glove right there. And these are regular fit wrist length. They're 70% polyester, 20% uh, neoprene, and 10% cotton. And these are hand wash. Uh, they recommend washing them by hand. So that's the left glove. Let's pull out the right one and show you what that one looks like right here. Okay, let's see what else is in the box here. Slide the box over. And what else we have in here are the batteries. So there's one battery for each glove. And that's for, say, left. And this one would be your right. And and then we have the plug right there, and we'll get to that in just a moment. And then we've got our charger. And so the charger comes with the wall plug right there. And then you have the USB right here. So that just goes into there like so. And then you've got the two plugs for the battery. And so you can charge the battery, both the batteries up at the same time, which is really cool. Okay, and then the other thing that comes with it, besides your little user guide right there, you also have this little storage bag. Convenient little bag here to put your gloves in or to carry with you. So let's... Uh, show you the battery here and how this works. So there's a little zipper and I've already got the cord exposed right here. That comes with a little cap on it. So you just pull that off and then your battery, whoops, your uh, plug, which will be right there, plugs in like so. And then your battery just slides into the little pocket right here. And you just zip it back up. This is on the top of the wrist. And once you zip it up, it's ready to go, like so. So it's gonna, your wrist is gonna feel a little bit thicker than your, you know, with regular gloves, but it's like padding, you could say there. But it's a, a, a heat uh, battery. Okay, so then there's the other glove. You just unzip it, pull out your cord. It's got the little cap on there. Just take that off. Plug your battery in like so. And then that just goes in the little pocket there and you zip it back up. Okay, so now that we've done the unboxing, let's put them on and show you what they look like when they're on you. So here we go. Here's the left glove right there. And let's put the right one on. So the one thing you're going to notice right away, there's the right glove. The one thing you're going to notice right away is the fact that they feel like there's a bit of a, a lump here. Well, that's just the battery, but at least it's on. I like the fact that it's on the outside here rather than the inside of your hand right here, because being here, it's kind of like wearing a wristwatch, right? So you're kind of used to that if you wear a wristwatch watch anyway. And if these are going to keep your hands warm, then uh, that is a good trade off if that's what you're going to have. So there's also the Velcro right here to tighten it as tight as you want. I've got the large size gloves, but you can get different sizes. So you want to just put that snug. You don't want it too tight, but you want it snug enough so that no cold air or anything gets in there more than it has to. And so with these gloves, these are uh, 
far, uh, these are far infrared, infrared carbon fiber heating elements that cover the entire back of the hand and the fingertips. That's awesome because the one place that you get cold, if you're uh, if you wear gloves, you know about this, that your hands get cold right here on the fingertips. At least they do for me. So that's a good thing. And they also have three heat settings. So let's show you. Let's take one off so I can show you this. Well, maybe I can do it with that. I think I can do it with them on. So here's your control to turn them on and off. So you hold this button in for about three seconds, and then you'll see it go red. That's the high heat. So if you push it one more time, that turns it down to medium, which is the white color. And then one more to the blue is the low heat. And these gloves heat up almost immediately. I can feel the heat going already. It says that they heat up, start to heat up in three seconds. That's pretty fast. So let's turn the other one on. Hold it, turns red. That's the high heat. I'm probably only gonna put them on low here for the moment because my hands are not cold as it is right now inside the house, but so there's what they look like on and turned on. So the battery they say lasts up to eight hours of battery life. I have not tested them for how long yet they keep your hands warm, but we're going to find that out in the future. They're two hours on high heat. They say that they'll last you four hours on the medium heat and six hours on low heat. And for me, I would probably turn them on, let them warm up on the high heat, and then turn them down to the low, or go accordingly, depending on what the temperature is like in your area. And these batteries are 7.4 volt. They're UV or ULCE listed batteries. So uh, there you go. That's a look at the gloves right there. I'm going to turn them back up. My hands are getting warm already. That's how quick these things heat up. You just hold that button back in for a few seconds and then it turns off. And one more thing I would like to show you is where we have the power button here. I'm going to push it back in to show you this. So at the top, you'll see the four red lights there. That indicates that your battery is completely charged. So that'll give you the indication. So just hold that in and you'll see that it's, when you first turn it on, you can see how many controls or how many lights are lit up. Okay, so these are water, these are water resistant. So you don't want to submerge your hands in water with these. And um, the touch sensor in the index finger works on any, let me show you right there, they work on any smart device. The palm is printed with non-slip silicone so you can hold your phone on other or other gear securely and the current price now as i record this the current price regular price is 139.99 us and they're currently on sale right now for 111.99 so here we are out on the road with the savior heat thin gloves and i've got them on on high heat right now and uh, I first thing I can tell you right away is that these are great for gripping the hand grips of the bike as you can see here they being thin they are nice uh, for uh, the bike for gripping they're not too big and bulky we are getting a little bit of light rain. The temperature right now is about 54 degrees. And the nice thing about these gloves is they have heating right to the fingertips. And if you're used to riding a bike in the colder weather with gloves on, you know that your fingers are always the first thing that's going to get cold because they're out there by themselves and this bike has a thumb throttle so I'm not using it the glove like this but I can tell you if this was a twist throttle it would be no problem and let's check grabbing the brakes here yep 
Yeah, there's no, you're gonna have no issues with these gloves. They are perfect. Now they, they heat up pretty quickly. So if you're going out into the cold, you might wanna turn them on a few seconds before you go out just to get them warmed up. But otherwise, even if you don't do that, they heat up so quickly, they say three seconds. I can tell you they are pretty quick. They heat up. If you're in more of an extreme cold area, you might want to wear these inside of another pair of gloves because these are actually liners, they call them glove liners. So I don't know how well they work in extreme cold, so then you'd want to wear maybe another pair of gloves to insulate uh, a little more. But these are the Savior heated gloves and they do come in, they have different gloves on their website. Uh, to check out, they have other items as well. I like the fact that they're thin and lightweight, especially for biking like this, using them on the uh, bike. If you want to get a pair of these gloves, I will leave a link in the description. You can check it out. Now that we're coming on colder weather, fall and winter here, we're in fall now, but we're coming uh, quickly approaching winter. Uh, this is a great time of the year to get yourself a pair of heated gloves. Okay, so here's one more look at the gloves, the Savior Heat Thin Liner Gloves. And I would uh, suggest if anybody's looking for gloves to wear for the colder weather, assuming you're a rider in the colder weather, even if you're not a rider, there's other things you can use these gloves for besides riding a bike. Maybe you're a hiker or other things uh, that are outdoors. Uh, that I would recommend these gloves. They uh, will keep your hands warm. And uh, extreme cold, you might want to put a pair of gloves over top of these because these are more of a liner than the uh, glove. But for uh, Oregon weather here, I think these are going to be just fine uh, for our weather here that we get uh, temperature-wise. So that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. I should mention too that we are going to leave a link in the description if you want to check these out. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to leave a comment on this video or any other videos, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, that's uh, thank you for joining me on this video. Thank you very much to Save Your Heat for uh, sending these gloves for review. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.